so in 8.2, we're going to continue to talk about the basics of geometry. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about segments today and segment lengths. Um, so let's start with our first vocabulary word or term here is going to be congruent segments. So congruent might be a word that you've heard before. Congruent segments are line segments that have the same length. So let's write down that definition. Congruent segments are line segments. We learned about line segments in 8.1. So congruent segments are line segments that have the same length. Um, so just worth noting, we talked about line segments. Line segments um, are written like this, a segment AB congruent to segment CD. That would be me saying line segments are congruent. To say that they have the same length is to say their lengths are congruent. We write lengths like this. The length of AB is just AB, no segment over it, and it equals the same as the length CD. So those are two different ways to write it. One is saying that the segments are congruent, and one is saying that the lengths are equal. They basically mean the same thing, but they are different. So let's take a look at the first example here. Example one says plot J, K, L, and M in a coordinate plane, then determine whether J, K, segment J, K, and segment LM are congruent. So let's plot those points on a little graph here. If you don't have a graph, go ahead and sketch one and then plot those points. So I'm going to start by plotting point J at negative 3, 4, and I'm going to label it J. I'll plot K at 2, 4, and I'll label that K. I'll plot L at 1, 3, and I'll plot M at 1, negative 2. Now I'm going to draw the segments that we're actually asked to find. I want to know whether JK and LM are congruent. So I'm going to grab my ruler or straight edge if I don't have a ruler, and I'm going to draw segment JK, that would be connecting J and K, and segment LM, so that would be connecting L and M. So I drew those segments. I want to know, are they congruent? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to find the length of JK, and I'm going to find the length of LM. So let's find the length of JK. The length of JK is basically how long it is, or in this case, how many units is it? So J to K is one, two, three, four, five units. So the length of JK is five. Let's check the length of LM. The length of LM is one, two, three, four, five units. The length of LM is five units. They have the same length, so therefore they are congruent. When segments have the same length, they're congruent. Make sure you're actually counting and you're not just looking at it. Things can appear to be equal and not be, so make sure you're actually looking at it. All right, let's take a look at the next example. So the next example, we're going to actually talk about another, a new term, a new um, postulate here. And it's the segment addition postulate. The segment addition postulate basically says that I'm going to draw a little picture here. If we were to draw a segment between from A to C, if I were to draw a segment from A to C and put B somewhere in between there, the segment addition postulate says, hey, if you want to take AB, so AB is this part, and you want to add it to BC, BC is this part, that was poorly drawn, BC is right here. If you want to take AB and add it to BC, it's going to give you that whole segment, which is AC. So AB plus BC equals AC. The segment addition postulate basically says you can add two parts of segments to get the whole segment. So we're going to use that in example two here to find missing segments, to figure out the lengths of segments given the information we have. So let's take a look at example two. In example two, part A, I'm asked to find segment DF, the length of DF. So segment DF, I'm going to highlight it here, would be this segment right here. Well, the segment addition postulate says I can go ahead and add the two parts. In this case, that means I can add DE and EF, DE is 23, EF is 35, so the length of segment DF is 58. Um, we don't have any units, so we, could, we would write 58 units, or if we had inches or centimeters or whatever, we would label it. 
So I can find the whole segment length by adding the two parts. Well, what if we don't have the two parts? That's what happens in example B. In example B, I'm asked to find G H. G H is actually one of the parts, but I know the whole segment. Well, let's think about this logically. I know that the segment addition postulate says this part plus this part equals this part. I could write myself a little equation if I wanted to. We'll call this X because it's what we don't know. So I know that 21 plus X should equal the whole thing, which is 36. And then it's just a matter of solving. Subtract 21 on both sides. So X, which is my missing segment, GH, should be equal to 15. 36 minus 21, my segment, GH, is 15. So again, the segment addition postulate basically says you can add the two parts to get the whole. Not too crazy. In the last example, we're actually going to do the same thing. It's a little bit of a word problem here. So imagine this being on a map. It says the city, cities shown on a map lie approximately in a straight line. Find the distance from Tulsa, Oklahoma to St. Louis, Missouri. So we're given um, some cities here that are in a line and some distances between these cities. The distance I'm trying to find is from Tulsa to St. Louis. That would be TS. So my goal here is to basically find the length of TS. Well, TS is a part of the whole segment, so again, I can do part plus part equals whole. So I'll write myself a little equation. This is the part I don't know. I'll call it X. So X plus 377 should equal the whole distance, which is 738. And I can go ahead and solve that little equation. I'll subtract 377 from both sides, and I'll get X equals 361. In this case, I do want to label it miles because we do have a unit here so it's 361 miles from Tulsa Oklahoma to St. Louis so make sure you go back and rewatch these if you need to the biggest thing is that you know how to use the segment addition postulate which says the two parts of the segment add up to be the whole